Hello, my name is Natalia Paredes, and for my final project, I decided to create my own artwork. To begin with, I decided to focus my project on people with privilege and the way that they use their platforms. More often than not, we can imagine celebrities from Hollywood, billionaires, and people in our lives alike as obstacles to truly making any steps forward in society for social issues that encompass all aspects of the average daily life. They have the privilege to not have to participate in advocating and fighting for social change since either way, it will never affect them. They can do performative activism as much as they like. They have enough money to maintain themselves afloat during any crisis, and it's likely that they will never maintain, find the interest to look outside their bubble and strive to make better use of their platforms to bring light to issues that maybe may not affect them, but may affect others. At some point, time runs out to fix these issues, whether it's the environmental clock that all scientists say are ticking for climate change, or the opportunities we have to vote corrupt officials out of office, to progress for women's rights, Black Lives Matter, and the Me Too movements, the consequences of not taking action sooner will affect everyone. Sea levels will rise, fires will burn more, with more intensity, discrimination and oppression will be given a platform, and no amount of privilege and money can protect you from those consequences, which is why it's important to do what's best for everybody, not just for ourselves. This is the message I wish to convey. My artwork was not inspired by a specific piece, but rather a specific style from an illustrator named Coles Phillips that became well known for his Fade Away Girl series, drawn in advertisements and Life magazine during the early 1900s to the late 1920s. As you can see, his main subjects tended to be young and glamorous women that have a part of their figures blended with their background. His work became special because of his peculiar use of implied lines and shapes for the viewer to associate with the women's figures as well as the stark contrast between the women and their backgrounds, applied through careful use of values in a two-dimensional negative space. The closest piece that serves as inspiration is an illustration named Forward and Back, which in turn also features women in a lot of negative space. It also alludes to a somewhat similar message as Philip aims to interpret the conflict between two generations regarding change and the future. The woman to the right is trying to oppose it, while the woman to the left is trying to push the clock hand forward. As hinted before, I applied the clock concept to my piece and tried to mimic the symmetrical format that many of the Phillips illustrations had, as they were meant to be covers for magazines. The same concept of implied shapes and lines were applied to the woman's dress, satin gloves, and the white in her shoes to blend in with the white background of the clock. The feathers of the boa, the underside of the dress, and the black background all help bring this concept into motion. The feather boa, the bottle of champagne, and the gold coins in the background all make the viewer assume that she is a woman of high social standing that lives an extravagant lifestyle. Think the roaring 1920s. The woman and all her accessories represent the privileged life of luxury and disregard for the world outside their, li their lifestyle and social bubble. As you can see, both arrows of the clock have strike 12, which in turn symbolizes a moment that time has run out to fix, same, to fix things. The woman was holding herself afloat by the arrows, but now she has lost her grip and is falling. She's wearing a blindfold over her eyes that's colored yellow to represent cowardice, betrayal, and egotism that poses reasons for many of the rich being unwilling to face change and turmoil when they have the resources to make the biggest pain impact out of all of us. But they choose to turn a blind eye and would rather think that it's not real until it affects them. The title, Time's Up, encapsulates this message. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.